Welcome to Nice, France and the birth home of Chef Augusta Escoffier. Today we're going to be reading The Emperor of Chefs, the story of the life of G. Augusta Escoffier as told by Chef Arlena Strode. Good food is the foundation of genuine happiness. G. Augusta Escoffier. What if you went to a restaurant and there was only one thing on the menu and that one thing would be whatever the chef felt like making that day? Cassoulet for everyone today. If you say it right, it rhymes. Cassoulet is a common French dish with white beans baked with meats. It takes its name from its cooking dish. You would not have a choice between fries and apple slices or between chicken and beef. If the chef's menu says escargot, then that is what you will eat. Each day, the chef might have a different choice, but just one option a day. Escargot is a land snail that is edible and is often cooked with butter and garlic. What if the kitchen at your favorite restaurant was like a circus, unorganized. What if there was no way to know if your food was being prepared cook, and cooked safely? Nice, clean restaurants were not available to everyone during the early 1800s. The cost of food was high and most people had to settle for what they called coarse food. There is a good chance that this kind of restaurant would not be your favorite anymore you would probably want to make some changes to make it better. Kids are smart and they know when something can be improved. Kitchens were like this in the 1800s. There would only be one choice of meal per day and there was always soot from the fires. The soot made it hard to see and it irritated the eyes and the lungs of the cooks. The chefs would usually be sweaty and grumpy. The kitchens were dirty and there were always scraps of food around. Scraps of food would attract critters. It was common to see rats and other critters in these dirty kitchens. Turnspit dogs were dogs that were bred especially for the job of running in a wheel near the ceiling of the kitchens. This wheel would then turn the rotisserie of meat over the fire. Dogs on the ceiling, can you imagine? In France, in 1858, there was a young boy who loved art. He enjoyed spending his day painting. He went to work in his uncle's restaurant when he was only 12 years old. He didn't know it yet, but he would change the whole world with his talents in culinary arts and his desire that everybody be able to have wonderful food. His name was G. Augusta Escoffier. Claude Monet and Edgar Degas were also interested in painting at the same time in Paris. Auguste spent several years of his young life in his uncle's kitchen learning about food and restaurants. Kitchen work or being a chef in the late 1800s was dirty work and it did not pay very well. Augusta worked hard and he found ways to blend his love of art with his growing love of food. He organized the kitchen workers and taught them better skills. One thing he taught the workers was how to drink healthy liquids so they wouldn't be so tired and worn down by the heat in the kitchens. Transferable skills, also known as portable skills, are qualities that can be transferred from one job to another. When he was in his early 20s, Augusta was a soldier in the Franco-Prussian War. He was already a very good chef, and so he got the job of chef de cuisine for the general staff. He was able to continue his growing skills, and the high-ranking officers were pleased to be able to eat so well. The Franco-Prussian War was July 19, 1870 through May 10, 1871. Chef de cuisine is also known as the executive chef. Chef de cuisine is in charge of all the functions in the kitchen. His experience as a chef de cuisine during the war gave him enough skills to be hired after the war as an executive chef. The executive chef is the one in charge of the whole kitchen and all of the staff. 
This time he was hired at the famous Les Petits Moulin Rouge. Working at this job gave him amazing opportunities to meet many people. The people who were very rich and high in society in Paris often requested that he cooked for them at famous eating establishments all over the country. Augusta created a dessert for a famous opera soprano named Nellie Melba. This dessert is still popular today. It is called Peach Melba. Peach Melba is made of vanilla ice cream with peaches and raspberry sauce. Augusta was busy cooking and managing kitchens for restaurants where kings and queens, famous singers and other performers ate. He was requested as head chef at some of the most elite restaurants like the Ritz. He was changing the way people dined. He wanted to make fine dining available to more people. Augusta was able to organize the kitchen and workers so that everyone knew what they were supposed to do. And everything was clean, especially the food. This made it easier for the restaurants to offer many food choices on the menu and even take requests from special guests. The Emperor of Germany, Kaiser Wilhelm II, said to Augusta, I am the Emperor of Germany, but you are the Emperor of Chefs. Augusta wrote a cookbook and he taught many others how to cook and how to organize and clean their own kitchens. He created menus with many options so customers could have lots of choices. More people started to think about being a chef and it became a respected career. Because of Augusta's influence, nice dining became more accessible and more enjoyable. Augusta's cookbooks were translated into many languages and have been used to teach and educate cooks all over the world. Augusta was just a boy who loved art but he was able to apply his talents and experience with art to cooking. He set an excellent standard for culinary artists to be able to follow. These standards are still seen in kitchens everywhere today. Wonderful food and elegant meals are now available to people everywhere. Do you like cooking in the kitchen? Does it bring you happiness? <laughs>